Ball is life. That's why everyone says it, right? Ball is actually life. It teaches you life skills. Hello, my name is Jacob Mabratu. I'm 18. I started basketball as a hobby around grade six, grade seven. Joshua Backer, uh, I'm 17 years old. I grew up at Gordon Ridge. I've been hooping since probably like grade three when I really got into it. I've known Jacob since I was probably in grade five. He's probably the person that I've known the longest. Josh. I was actually in his school in grade four, I think, but I didn't really know him. I just know he's always been there. And since we live in the same community, we took the same bus. We got to know each other all the, like, every time after school, we'd be on the same bus together. So we got to know each other there. And then I didn't even know he played basketball, like, outside of the school until, until I saw him in the community. Midnight basketball helped us become closer, like, see each other more often because I have a reason to go somewhere now. It's not like, if it's not school, I don't want to leave. Like, I'm not forced to do anything. But here it's something I enjoy and it's with people I know. She just makes it, it's like a perfect mix. I'm, I'm lucky to consider myself one of those people and one of those people who know about this program, right? Because there's so much that I can gain from this. And the impact this program has on the community is that it mostly focuses on youth, the youth in Gordon Ridge, which I appreciate, right? Because it all starts with them. This program, Midnight Basketball, would be great for them. It'd be a great opportunity for them to learn valuable things in life. I've always been like really introverted. I always keep to myself unless it's people close to me. And like through basketball, I've been able to express myself more, get more confidence. And then I found this opportunity to play here. I wanted to compete at least once, like, cause I've never made a team. I never got a chance to compete. I want to I wanna feel what it feels like to be in a game that's really competitive. Why I play basketball is because it taught me so much about wanting to be better, striving to be better than how you were yesterday. It's always shown me the right way, right? Like it's kept me out of bad habits. And the sport makes me feel safe, right? Like, there are people that I've met and played ball with, people that I consider brothers on the court. Someone I really look up to would probably be Daniel. He's been doing a great job, like, mentoring everyone, giving everyone, like, equal treatment. I like one thing. He said, if you show up to every practice, it doesn't matter how good you are, you're probably going to be on the team. So that was, like, a big bonus for the younger guys who really didn't feel like, even if they do come, I'm not going to get a chance because all these other guys, these older guys, they prefer them over us, which I like how he's done it. it makes them want to show up, makes them want to compete, and ultimately gets them better. See, when I first met Daniel, he doesn't know this. I was like, this guy's, this guy's a little too much by the book. Started to get to know him better, which is how all good friendships might start, right? So I got to know him a little better. I don't, I don't think that our team might understand, my team might understand how, how he sacrificed a lot for us. I think it's just me and a few other people who understand that, which is why I respect him so much, including Ryan, because those guys have looked out for us countless times, right? I find it extremely satisfying being alone in a gym, hearing every sound you make, especially like the swish of the net, the creaks of your shoes, yeah. Those are the best moments.